When I was a kid, just like everyone, I loved playing video games and because of that, I wanted to make my own too. But when I tried learning Unity, my brain size of Peter just couldn't handle anything so I gave up. But some time has gone by and I randomly remembered that I could learn how to make video games because I've learned programming. My brain has grown, it has evolved, it functions better now. And at the end of the summer, because all good ideas come to my head when I don't have time anymore, I decided to try again and tried Unity at first because it's like the best and easiest engine for beginners, as Google says, but this happened. And I know I could've went with Gorad, Garad, whatever it's pronounced, like a normal person, but because I like making my life harder for no absolute reason, I <laughs> decided to go with Unreal, yeah. To learn the engine, I did a few small games, and after a while, after I got comfortable with it, I wanted to work on a bigger project, which is not a good idea when you're learning game development, don't do it by the way. But um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't even, I don't even know how to explain my choice. So I started up in real, I created a brand new project, I named it Lifeless War, I don't like that name by the way, okay, but um, I wanna make a game about robots fighting and robots don't have a life, I think? So first of all, I needed some 3D models, and I know I could've just gotten some off the internet, but um, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. So I spent my whole holidays in Blender, and uh, we have this now. I'm pretty proud of this, it took me a lot of time to think of the original ideas. But this is me importing everything into Unreal and this looks like 10 seconds for you but it actually took me half an hour, <laughs> yeah. And as you can see these robots are standing and well, but just looking at standing robots would probably be a boring game so I need to implement the actual features now. I started off with movement because I don't want this to be like one of those 2016 mobile games where you couldn't move but only shoot. It was basically 3D but 2D, um, yeah, I don't know, those games pissed me off so much because the Play Store images made it look like it's more interesting than GTA or something but then you download it and you literally cannot move. And by moving I mean sliding for now. But then I added animations which are just a work of both coding and these blueprint things which is kind of annoying sometimes. For now I'll only have two animations which are standing and walking because that makes things easier for me. So as you can see these animations are working but if we for example try to move to right or back this happens which isn't very realistic. I don't think that's how legs work. Like it's just moonwalking. So because I'm lazy and I don't want to make like 4 animations for walking forwards, backwards, right and left, I just made it so the robot rotates wherever you're walking, which turned out to be harder than just making 4 animations. I present to you Lifeless War, gotta hit that name, made by one and only me. Microsoft, if you wanna buy this, you can hit me up on Gmail, we can negotiate the price. Anyway, I fixed that and movement is pretty smooth now, I like how it turned out. But robots just walking around and not destroying the whole world and humanity is kind of boring, right? So I give the weapons. So weapons should have particles and like muscle flash and all of that. But there's a slight problem. I have no idea how particles work and like, what's all of this? What, what the fuck is Nayagara? So I spent a week learning that and uh, I still have no idea what I'm doing. By the way, I have no idea what this means, I hope my PC doesn't blow up. I modeled a muzzle flash thing in Blender and then I made it into a particle. Um, I don't really know how that works, I didn't understand it fully myself, but hey, it works, you know? So, we have, we have this now. Oh, is this? That's a good question. Anyway, I wanted to make the guns rotate towards the target you're looking at and somehow this happened. But hey, this is now just going to be a new genius feature. I know, I know, how could I come up with this? Well, it took me lots of time and sleepless night. So at that point, I also decided it's time to finally color the default gun because it looks really boring. And, and I used a software I pirated for and it turned out alright. Now, of course, I will add more guns later on, but this is just for me to see how guns would work and shit, you know? So I added gunshot sounds and um, this is the finished game. I know, it's so cool, right? I also added multiplayer and some maps off camera and you can't even play with friends now. Yeah, that was a lie. 
You can download this game by subscribing to me, um, that really means a lot by the way, I appreciate it if you do. I'm just starting out on this YouTube journey, so hey, if you'd like to come along, you are more than welcome to. I'll have more parts of this coming out soon, if I don't get destroyed by my school. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching till the end.